Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Mike is not with me today because he's working. Today I will be doing a little story time on my birth and delivery with my twin girls. I did give birth in um, 2019, so I'm still going to try to remember literally detail by detail. But first, look what I bought, guys. I bought this little lunch thing from Amazon. It's so cute, so I'm gonna put it in my car, my wheel, steering wheel, whatever. Let's see how it works. <gasps> I don't know if y'all can see my food. Okay, look right there. Mm, something you guys can see, but it's all right. Let me just go back. I went to go get some breakfast from McDonald's because the girls are at school right now, so I'm just recording while they're at school. So I have some orange juice, and then I got myself. I'm not gonna eat all these hash browns. Maybe I got three hash browns, uh, one McGriddle with cheese egg and sausage and then they gave me some napkins and a straw for my orange juice oh did not do that mm. part outside of mcdonald's you really can't see my food but i don't know how to change the camera for you guys to be able to see my food but it's okay I might put my juice right here. I did screenshot some questions because I told you guys to ask me some questions on um, Instagram. So I did screenshot some to make sure I answer some questions that you guys want want to know. The hash brown. I will always say my pregnancy was very hard. Mentally, physically, and just emotionally, I would say. I know there's people that have it worse and you know i i understand but I just feel like for me it was hard and i would always cherish and appreciate like any woman that get pregnant and go through a lot of stuff through through their pregnancy like health wise and you know just everything else around them but whenever i found out i was pregnant my symptoms were just uh nausea like i was nauseous a little bit i had sore boobs late period and then just crampy and then once i found out i was having twins maybe within the 12th week mark the third the third month um i started ha i started throwing up i would throw up anything that i would eat literally i would just start throwing up and throwing up it was really bad where i even had like um a cut my throat i don't know what you call it i remember i went to the doctor and it said i had something but i had a bunch of bunch of cuts in my throat for where i would throw up and sometimes i didn't even have nothing to throw up my cheeks were like with a bunch of red dots because of how much i was throwing up thankfully it only lasted maybe like two weeks two weeks but it was two weeks but it was every single day it felt like forever literally but like forever and i was still at school so it was horrible like it was in i was in so much pain literally I remember Mike felt so bad for me. He just would be like, are you okay? Are you okay? Do you need anything? I'm like, no. Like, I'm okay. I just, you know, I have to get through it. After that, maybe once I turned five months, I started getting preeclampsia. I got early pre preeclampsia. I think it was five months or kind of like four months. I got preeclampsia and it was really bad for me. I was swollen. I looked like a whole different breed, guys. Like, <laughs> I'm not even lying. I look very swollen my nose got swollen my feet um like i was just tired all the time all i would do was just lay in bed since i was four months and a half till i gave birth i didn't want to do anything if i did get up it was just because we were gonna go do something but other than that i would just lay in bed and i did not sleep I did not sleep for like five, six months because I just couldn't sleep. I was just so uncomfortable all the time and in pain. And then when the girls would kick me, I was tiny, guys. I was like 118, 120 when I got pregnant. I was tiny. Like, it really, really hurt when they would kick and like, it was painful. So I got really bad preclamp preeclampsia i would get doctor checkups ever since i turned three months i would get weekly checkups because i was high risk um so every week i would get ultrasounds every week literally i would see my babies grow 
and I'm so happy that I got to see that because I know some places usually only do like oh three three ultrasounds throughout your whole pregnancy and stuff or like four but no I got one every single week every Friday was my appointment and I would get um what's it called ultrasounds and I love that I love to see my babies and how much they're growing and this and that I also remember one of my big symptoms like I mean like changing my body wise I got very dark so like my under my underarms were very dark my neck was very dark like literally it was so dark and I was like oh my god guys I was so insecure my whole pregnancy I felt ugly and I know I was carrying two beautiful baby girls but it was just so new to me you know and i got pregnant i got pregnant with two and I would always i would always throw fits because clothes didn't fit me or this and that and mike would always tell me babe you're beautiful like it's okay you, like you know you're pregnant it'll go away in three months because i was already six months he said just give it time after that i remember it was may 17th around there I went to go get a checkup and they checked my cervix and they checked everything. I was what? In May, right? Yeah, I was seven months pregnant in May and I went to go get a checkup and they checked my cervix to make sure I wasn't dilating and everything. Nope, I wasn't dilating, I wasn't doing nothing. But I was having problems with baby A, which was Sophia. Basically they said I was running out of room, you know? So baby A was kind of a little like squished a little bit so they were like okay we're gonna deliver you in i think they set my due date for july 7th and my actually delivery date like finishing my nine day my nine months was july 17th 7th and i was like okay like wow it's coming soon it's happening june came along i got worse guys i would not get up from bed i was just laying down mike would be like come on let's go and i'm like no like i don't want to get up i don't want to do nothing i just want to lay down I would see a lot of black dots like a lot of black dots and i thought to me that was normal i never thought it was like my blood pressure or anything like that like i never really thought even though i know preeclampsia has to do with that but i never had my blood pressure so high so i went to a checkup and they noticed that my blood pressure was high and they told me no more this was in june already kind of close to giving birth they're like no more greasy food they told me no more greasy food no burgers no this they did tell me if you're craving a burger go to burger king because they said that burger king is um more healthy-ish i guess they're like go to burger king but they're like no more burgers and no more wings no more french fries no more this and that so my mom was cooking for because we were living at my, at my mom's at the time my mom started like cooking healthy for me she started making me like fish and like veggies and i would eat it guys i would eat it i really convinced myself not to eat much like fat food and stuff like that because i was scared for my babies so i just stopped and i was scared for myself you know so i stopped and um june 13th came around and mike was craving wings but i had already ate fish i haven't even ate my sandwich but i had ate fish because um my mom was cooking for me and my mom would have killed me if she would have saw me eat wings i'm gonna put a hash brown inside my mom would have killed me guys mm. mike went to go buy wings but i didn't eat i was like well i did eat but i was like i'm not gonna eat you eat babe i'm okay i already ate and he was like okay well don't ask me for any because i'm not gonna give you any because you need to watch yourself i'm like okay i started begging him for wingstop fries we love wingstop fries i love wingstop fries because when i was pregnant i couldn't stand wings but i loved the fries and i was like i want fries please please just give me a few and he's like okay he's like here you can have a few fries i was eating a few fries guys i probably ate like 10 fries right i ate like 10 fries I thought I was like, mm, not a big deal. It's not going to do anything to me. It's just 10 fries. And then the next day I had my checkup. It would be my 35-week checkup. So I was like, oh, I should be fine. You know, like it, I just ate 10 wings. I'm not going to, my blood pressure is not going to look too high. So for my 35-week checkup, I got an ultrasound. And they checked the babies. They said everything looks fine. I don't even remember if I saw the doctor that day. I just remember then telling me okay like you're good to go you know and stuff like that so i was driving and they called me i was with my mom and then they called me again literally i was like 10 minutes away from the hospital maybe 15 
they call me and they're like, uh, Miss Castaneda, I'm like, yes. And they're like, is there any way you can come back? And then I was like, uh, I'm like 10 minutes away. I can, I can go back if needed to. They're like, yes, please. We saw something in your ultrasound and we, we, we are a little bit concerned. That drop, that got me scared. It made my heart drop. Like, I got so scared. And I looked at my mom. I was like, mom, they want me to go back. And I was like, it's okay. It's going to be okay. So, we did go back. And before that, I was already telling my mom, mom, I need to go get my ID. I need to go um, go get my toes done, finish my diaper bag, um, you know, fix a, little for more, uh, fix a little few more things in the room. I was making plans and right before I was making those plans the doctor called me and that's when they told me I had to go back so I go back and then I sit down and they put me into another room like not the ultrasound room they put me into another room and then they're like we need to check your blood pressure and they check my blood pressure guys the blood pressure was up to the roof like they were like I remember they asked me they're like do you feel okay I'm like yeah why and they're like like how do you feel and i was like well i'm just tired and i have a headache and all i do is see black dots like i was just seeing black dots everywhere and this was june 14 already and they were like yeah honey you have really high blood pressure i forgot the numbers guys but i remember they were like we need to deliver you right now and i was like right now and they're like yes right now i forgot to mention this I was planning on doing a normal birth, like vaginal, um, with the twins when the doctor asked me what kind of um, plan I wanted to do. I said I wanted to do natural, but they were going to deliver me in a C-section room in case baby B did not want to come out. Um, They'll just do an emergency, emergency C-section. Um, so that was the plan. But once my they once I went to my third five week checkup and they saw my ultrasound and that baby A because baby A wasn't getting no oxygen at this point like she was not getting much guys what's going on with baby A like they weren't seeing enough oxygen so that's when they were like let me let's check your blood pressure and then they checked my blood pressure and thought that was normal due to my pregnancy and like having preeclampsia they were like no honey your blood pressure is way too high you need to deliver it right now and i was like right now and they're like yes and then i started crying my mom was like it's okay me it's gonna be okay i was like no no i was like i don't want to i'm not ready <laughs> can i still um can i still push i was like can i still deliver vaginal and they were like uh -huh, fortunately we don't recommend it because you have your your blood pressure is really really high it's so risky we will recommend a c-section I was young guys I, I was just listening to my doctor thinking what was best for me you know um so i was like okay and i started crying because i didn't want to do surgery out that was my fear like i just didn't want surgery um that was probably my first surgery ever it was around 12 i believe it was around 12 o'clock that happened mike was at work and i didn't have nothing ready like i mean i had most of my stuff ready but i didn't have a diaper bag ready i didn't have the girls clothes washed I was like a little bit unprepared because I still thought I had time. I was supposed to deliver them when I'm 38 weeks. I just turned 35 weeks that day that I, that I gave birth. So freaking scared. I wasn't ready guys. Like, <laughs> I don't think you're ever ready, but I just wasn't ready to give birth. My McGriddle in syrup. Mm. So good. So, I took my and tell him what's going on and he's like he's like do you want me to leave work i'm like no not right now i still have like an hour my mom's like why are you telling him to wait why are you telling him to wait just let him leave and i was like i don't know like what if he gets fired or something so mike left work and he ended up coming he showed up um it was like around two at this point it happened so fast I was like round two and then yep they prepare me they get the c-section room ready they take me in i remember just um getting in there and the room was so cold like freaking cold i was shaking non-stop also because i was nervous and my anxiety was literally so bad i was just so scared and um I had amazing people around around me. They were they made me feel comfortable. They didn't make me feel like like uncomfortable there in the in the C-section room. Even still caught an epidural, right? Tell me if I'm wrong. But they injected me like the one in the back. Um, 
and as soon as they did they were like can you put your feet as soon as as fast as you can and i couldn't <laughs> i couldn't my feet everything fell asleep real quick and they helped me and laid me down and everything i laid down the doctor came in everyone came in and then they told me are you ready and i was like no and they all laughed i remember feeling like you can just feel sensation it didn't hurt at first like i just felt sensation like what they were doing but then i started feeling like scratches like if someone was grabbing um like a no because it, it kind of hurt i didn't want to say a fork because no because it kind of hurt it felt like scratching like if i was getting scratched like hard um that's what it felt like and i remember i told them oh i feel scratches and then um they i guess they gave me more um that thing to put like so i won't feel it and then mike was next to me he was in the room um i was just shaking the whole time i was so cold and mike was like it's gonna be okay babe and he was just talking to me 347 hit and baby a was born which was sophia and then bella was born literally like a minute right after um sophia so i remember when they were taking the twins out all i heard all i felt was like tugging and pushing like i just felt like they were inside of me and they were taking stuff out literally i felt that and it felt so uncomfortable i was like oh my god like i, I actually felt them inside me like i felt their hands inside of my stomach or like taking the babies out and i felt like a big relief i know that's weird like every time i tell them people like but you're not supposed to feel anything i'm like i know but i just felt like a big relief like like there's nothing in there no more i delivered the girls i don't remember much going into the recovery room because they took me to a recovery room i don't remember much there i don't even know how i got there i don't know why i don't remember maybe i was too drugged out or something but i don't remember going to the delivery room i mean to the recovery room i don't remember that but i do remember waking up at the recovery room and then i was like this lady was pushing onto my stomach the nurse was pushing into my stomach and it hurt really bad guys and i was, and i did tell her i'm like oh, like that hurts like can i know why you're doing that and she showed me and it was blood clots you know and she's like this is why we had to do it sweetie because you know we had to get rid of all those blood clots and i was like oh okay but that really hurt i think the blood clots hurt so bad like really really bad i was in the recovery room mike was with the twins i don't know what he was doing i forgot to ask him even to this day i never asked him but i just know i told him stay with the twins like do not keep your eyes off of them just stay with them you know and he did he stayed with the twins and waited until i got back from to the room because i was at the recovery room for like two hours i believe and then i went back to the recovery room only my mom and my sister were there i believe my mother-in-law but Mike was still with the babies and they had already all seen the babies like the twins they had already all seen them I guess through the little window you know how they put them in the little um, little basket um, everyone was seeing them and I didn't get to see them yet because I couldn't really walk much yet my sister took pictures and she showed me and I was like oh my god they have so much hair even now guys if you see my girls they have long beautiful hair but when they were born they were born with so much hair and i did not get well i'm gonna answer those questions to, towards the end like heartburn questions but the only thing that would give me heartburn was pizza and dairy like dairy food not even like spicy stuff only dairy food and pizza for sure gave me really bad heartburn like super bad but spicy stuff never gave me heartburn and i wouldn't eat as much spicy as i do now at the time because i was pregnant i was trying to be more safe and careful of what i was eating but after that um they brought my babies for the first time i got to see them and hold them i did try to breastfeed did not have any milk the first day sorry guys because i see people over there so i keep looking over there but i did not have milk at all the first few days i did not have milk i kept pumping and pumping i remember i pumped so much that my nipples were like red and had cuts and i'm like oh my god i cherish those people who are able to breastfeed you know and go through this like literally props to you mamas because i know it's tough both twins here my mom will make me out of school i would take um cookies like eat cookies that people would tell me drinks 
nothing will come out honestly i felt like it was because of stress i felt like i was just stressed and overwhelmed because it was two babies it was i already didn't sleep my whole pregnancy and especially with two newborns i did not sleep either it was beautiful though like my baby girls made everything so worth it whenever i saw them i remember i was so happy seeing the pink and seeing everything and i was like oh my god my babies are here like you know everything was worth it not sleeping like everything i went through i was like it was so worth it and i'm getting emotional because it was tough guys my pregnancy was freaking tough you know there's other moms that have it worse and i would always like say like it's crazy what a woman's body can do because we are amazing literally we create life and the fact that we can create more than one life at once it was like wow it's just mind-blowing so Vela wasn't eating much and she uh, was having problems keeping the food in like the formula they were born four pounds one of them was four pounds and eight ounces and the other one was four pounds and six ounces guys they were tiny like so small and i thought they were gonna put them in the nikki like i thought my babies weren't ready to come home with me because they were just so tiny how were they supposed to be ready to come home with me um so i stayed there for four days actually because also my blood pressure was still too high and they were like just monitoring me and just checking me um but isabella kept throwing up she's having really bad reflux and wouldn't keep any of the formula down we're going to give her one more day. If she doesn't keep any of her food down, then we will take her to the NICU. Um, thankfully, she started eating really, really well. She did not need to go to the NICU. She started like taking her food. She did have a little bit of reflux, but she had that problem for the longest, maybe till like she was like three months old. Um, she would suffer of a lot of reflux, so she had to take medication. I prescribed medication for her to be able to keep her food down sometimes. They were great. They passed all their tests. They passed the car seat test. They passed everything, and I was shocked. Like, I was not ready to take them home. Um, nurses experience, oh, I did have so many nurses, but I had one that was amazing and taught me and Mike how to burp the twins because at the time, I mean, we didn't know. Mom and his mom was there helping us. And then my mom was like, okay, like we, we're going to leave, go take a shower. We're going to leave you guys here for a, few, for a few hours. You know, you're going to learn how to do it on your own. And I was like, oh, I was like, please be back. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. But I was like, okay, mom. And they left. And then that's when the nurse was help, taught me and Mike how to burp the twins. And she was amazing. She made us feel comfortable. She made jokes with us. She was sweet. But my night nurses, the ones that I needed to have my back, they really, I feel like they didn't really help me much. And it's crazy because, you know, when we give birth, we depend so much on the nurses. Or at least I think I did, like, you know, because I was a new mom. I, I was scared and terrified. So my morning nurse, she made me feel comfortable. She made me feel like it was okay to feel the way I'm fe feeling. For them, I was there after my fourth day. My fourth day was crazy because... I remember my mom freaked out. I did not sleep, guys. Those four days, believe me or not, I probably slept maybe like five hours combining all those four days together because I was so scared of Bella. Sophia too, obviously. Like they were both next to me, but like I would not sleep. I was I was just so scared of them choking or like something happening to them, and I I was asleep or something, you know. I feel like oh, it's my responsibility. Like I can't ask anyone else to help me. I have to watch them. So I didn't sleep, guys. They would all tell me, go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm like, no, like, no, I'm okay. Or I'll act like I'm asleep, but I wouldn't sleep because I was so terrified of something happening to them while I'm sleeping. I remember the last four days, I just knocked out. Like, I don't even know what happened, but I just fell asleep. And my mom tried waking me up. Like, I still remember being asleep and my mom was, like, just shaking me, shaking me. Like, Paola, Paola. And I, I wouldn't wake up and my mom started freaking out. My mom started like calling the doctor like screaming i need a doctor i need a doctor and mike kind of got scared because he saw my mom scared because i wouldn't wake up guys they will wake me up and i just couldn't wake up and then the doctors rushed in and they're and then they checked me and they're like she's sleeping like she's tired and then the doctor was able to wake me up and i remember opening my eyes and then i was like hmm and then i knocked back down and i just remember hearing voices outside like She's sleeping, let's give her some rest. You know, she hasn't really slept much and blah, blah, blah. But I was so tired that they couldn't even wake me up from my sleep. 
So I'm just kind of summarizing it, giving a little bit of detail, and then I'll go to the questions and answer some questions that you guys had. Ketchup and syrup. <laughs> I'm looking at some questions. Another question was, how long were you in labor for? Guys, I wasn't even in labor for long, man. Like, I literally went for the checkup and I delivered within two hours. So I really did not, it wasn't like a normal, like, hey, you're gonna give birth this day, you know, come in early and then like get the epidural and get contractions and all that. I didn't feel none of that, guys. I did not feel any contractions either. I think I got lucky in that part. I did not feel any contractions, but I did have a horrible, horrible recovery with my C-section. I was in pain for a whole month. Like it wasn't even just a two week. No, I was in pain for a long time. Even after that, I still hurt. But I remember if I sat long in a certain position, position and I got up, stabbing pains. Like just my recovery C-section was very horrible, like literally. Were they born, born early or needed to be in the NICU? They were born early, so and they did not need to be in the NICU. Cravings during pregnancy. The only cravings I had was cereal and, and like dairy food. You remember how I said that only dairy food gave me heartburn? Well, I think that's why. The only thing I craved was Tutti Frutti, Dairy Queen, cereal, anything that had to do with ice cream. Oh, and Jack in the Box. Oh my god, I was obsessed with the Jack in the Box chicken sandwiches and two tacos. That was that was my meal. That was my literally go-to. I gave birth at 35 weeks. Did I know there's a possibility that I can have twins? I mean, yes and no. Um, I always thought that because I'm a twin, so I always thought that it would just skip a generation, or it was. I always just thought it was too good to be true. I guess for me, at least, I never thought I would have twins until I got pregnant, and it was twins. Hardest part of pregnancy was for sure my preeclampsia because that was just very tough, and it has got like it even terrified me to want to have more kids because just how bad I went through it and it was just very scary and experience for me do I want more kids yes I do want at least one more and I would hope for a boy but if it's not a boy I'll still be happy with my three little girls but I do want one more anytime soon no maybe when the girls are like six five I'm not sure they're about to be four so I'm not sure but we do want at least one more ask me when in five years and then we'll see <laughs> someone asked me what was some essentials to pack in your delivery bag guys i don't remember what i packed in there i think mike packed it for me and my sister they went back home whenever i was delivering and they packed everything for me because it was just so last minute i was not prepared now i understand moms that are prepared at 30 weeks because you just never know you know baby can come anytime so i did not prepare my diaper bag i did not have any diaper bags ready is it hard with twins yes um well see i would say it's getting harder now disciplining them because excuse me they are fighting so much and i don't know how to control it sometimes with the twins did you have two of everything how did you manage sleep love you love you too girl um manage sleep um i'm gonna say my mom helped me for the two weeks i believe two weeks she helped me a lot um mike did too he was off for a week from work so he helped me we would feed the babies and stuff like that you know he would stay up with me my mom too she helped me for two weeks after that maybe the two weeks i was on my own um i would i have the like the bobby pillow i think that's what they're called but i have one that was for twins i'll post a picture down like over here down below so you guys can know what i'm talking about that one helped me so much like literally so much i would not put them there yet because they were so freaking tiny but that pillow helped me once they were like two months where i would put sit one on each side and then i'll just hold their bottle and then they'll feed themselves not feed themselves but i'll hold both bottles and then they'll be fed instead of carrying them and having to you know feed them what helped me a lot with my twin girls was keeping them in a routine and literally till this day they have a routine they wake up we go to the restroom brush your teeth and all that good stuff but at the time um they just both ate at the same time sometimes even pooped at the same time 
of course sometimes we did break like the, the schedule because obviously one was probably hunger hungry sooner than the other one so i mean it's understandable their babies they get hungry but their schedule did not get firm until maybe they were like seven months old which i noticed that they were both hungry at the same time they both wanted everything at the same time that's what helped me a lot keeping them in a routine and a schedule last question can you tell the difference between your twins at first did you ever get confused <sighs> i think i got confused oh, guys honestly no no now that i think about it i will get confused if i only see their heads the back of their heads i'll get confused well like at the time but if i was to see them like when they were babies they look so much alike when they were babies i remember seeing them i'm like oh my god like how did maybe what if i did switch them what if i like sophia's actually bella and bella is sophia i have thought about that but i was like there's no way like the moment i seen them i knew baby a and baby b like i knew who was who they just look so different to me they don't look alike and i'll post a picture down here below that i took when they were at the hospital next to each other they just don't look alike to me and everyone tells me girl they look just alike i'm like Mm, not to me <laughs> they don't look to, alike to me and mike one twin looks like mike and then the other twin looks like me and everyone was like girl how they, they're they just identical i'm like i don't know but one twin looks like mike and one twin looks like me for all guys it was totally worth it i love my babies so 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 much they're growing so much guys three years my girls are going to be four this june coming up am i gonna throw my birthday party i'm not sure yet we're gonna see next month and see what happens but for now i don't think we are we might just do something like jumping or take them somewhere but other than that um i don't really remember like detail by detail but because i'm telling y'all i don't think my my birth and delivery was horrible i think it was okay you know it was beautiful like my girls were beautiful and that is all guys i love y'all so 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 much thank you so much for just loving me and all the support and next next video me and my are gonna do the food challenge versus the ice cream challenge so get ready for that video i think it's gonna be friday that we're gonna record it and then i'll just post it either saturday or sunday uh around there i don't even know when this video is going up but i love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching i'll see y'all until next time bye